The Dinosaur That Pooped a Princess Ooh. by Tom Fletcher and Doogie, or Dougie, Dougie. Pointer. Illustrated by Gary Parsons. Ooh. It's quite a big book, so we're hoping that it all fits on. Yeah, I'm not sure it's going to all fit in yeah. the camera. Well, we'll find out once we've done it. Once upon a time... Danny was riding his dinosaur steed in search of a princess who longed to be freed. But soon they were lost in fairy tale land, so they asked the directions from Gingerbread Man. Gingerbread Man, or oh Gingerbread Man, show us the way we should go if you can. Is that how a dinosaur talks? <laughs> gingerbread Man scratched his gingerbread head. He thought for a moment, then suddenly said, Oh, I cannot remember my brains made of dough, but go ask the three little pigs, they might know. Then, as they set off down the yellow brick track, Dinosaur ate up that gingerbread snack. <laughs> oh. oh, yeah. They soon came across the three little pigs, rebuilding their houses of brick, straw and twigs. Three little pigs. Oh, hang on. Three, uh, whose voice am I doing? I don't know, his or his. Assume. Oh, I'm going to do a dinosaur yeah, voice. Okay. Three little pigs. Oh, three little pigs. Prince... Princess. Help. Princess needs help. Do you know how, where she is? The three little pigs made a little pig huddle, but they couldn't agree. They were all in a muddle. She's this way, she's that way, she's down there, they said. Why don't you go ask Prince Charming instead? But while Danny worked out which road she'd be taken, the pig smelled like bacon, so Dinosaur ate them. <laughs> <laughs> They soon found the prince at the Grand Palace Ball. He made everyone laugh, charmed the pants off them all. Prince Charming, oh Prince Charming, sir. The princess needs help and we can't find her. He doesn't oh, it's seem his voice, bothered. Isn't it? Yeah, never mind. He's winking. Yeah. He gazed in the mirror that hung on the wall. Then the prince swooshed his hair and announced to them all. You can be a prince if you want. The proud to the princess, this tower is scary. scary, and if you go forth, you'll need new underwear. -y. He wrote down the way they should go on a scroll. Before dinosaurs swallowed that charming prince hole. Mm. Mm. With Prince Charming's directions, they started their quest, past the troll on the bridge and the rotten auk's nest. Tippy toe past the dragon, asleep on the gold, on, on its, its gold. gold. Fooled the witch easy peasy, she was all kinds of old. Tamed the wolf in the wood, swam the sea of quicksand, climbed the beanstalk and high fived the giant's huge hand. But with Danny so focused on saving his maiden, how he was how was he to know that these no in... that his noble steed ate them? <laughs> There it is, there it is, Danny called. Oh, no, that's you. There it is, there it is. Danny called to his steed. It shan't, shan't be long now till the princess is freed. Princess, oh, princess, please let down your hair. We've come here to save you, but can't find the stairs. Danny shouted and called, but there was no reply. So he sat on the ground and he started to cry. Oh, Big wee, wee, wee. Just then, an idea pinged in Dinosaur's head. Perhaps they could fly up the tower instead. With fairy tale creatures deep down in his gut, its brain made a wish involved in its butt. It knew there was only one thing it could do. To save the princess, it needed to... <gasps> Pull! Like a giant poo fountain, they shot up the tower, giving fairy tale land a smelly poo shower. It pooped orcs and trolls all over the place, and the prince still looked charming with poop on his face. Dino's bum huffed and guffed as he pooped out the pigs. Blowing down their new houses of brick, straw and twigs. 
the giant, the wolf, and the sea of quicksand, the dragon, it's gold, and the gingerbread man. They flew higher and higher with poop-powered thrust, and the poop was all sparkly like brown pixie dust. They crashed through the roof in a mighty poo mess. Then out of the dust came one angry princess. My bedroom! It used to be pretty and blue and now it's all gooey and dripping with poo! I didn't need saving. My home is this tower. Now I'll put the mess right with my princess girl power. She swished with her wand. She clicked with her heels too. Then she sang... Bibbidi blubber bobbidi boo! No... Bibbidi. Okay, bobbidi. bibbidi bobbidi boo. Poo. 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 That's it, not boo. You keep okay. saying boo. Well, that's because I'm, you know. What? Bibbidi bobbidi boo. Bibbidi bobbidi boo. Bed knobs and poop sticks. Bibbidi yeah, poo. bobbidi boo. But poo. that's poo. Okay, go on. Loads of magic appeared from her wand in her hand. And the poop disappeared from fairy tale land. We're so sorry. Dan said. For the way we behaved, now we know not all princes need to be saved. This story is over, but the sun is descending. But wait, there's a twist to this fairy tale ending. Because Dino had nothing better to do, it swallowed the princess and he pooped, pooped her, her out, out too. too. <laughs> oh, he looked it's a bit uh, frustrated there. <laughs> yeah, it's graphics. Yeah, I quite like that one. I've not read one of those before. Oh, there's more of them. Yeah, I know. Let's try and get I know, old the others. I got them for Edith for Christmas. Oh, so yeah. I know Edith's got them, yeah. Alright, let's get old then. Yeah. Right. Yeah, 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 same again. If you like it, <laughs> click thumbs up. If you want to see more, click subscribe. Free, 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 and then click free, the bell. Free, and then click all. And ding, YouTube will let you know. YouTube will let you know next time we do another one. And then send it all you get. Uh, send it Social all media. All your geezers share, and all the geezers and birds, you know. Sharing is caring. Send it to all your geezers and birds and they'll all read them too. Sure.